you just have $20 and you want a dedicated server, it is possible and uh, you have a lot of options. First of all, why you should and why you shouldn't want to get a dedicated server at this price. In terms of good things, it will give you complete separation of resources. There won't be any performance issues during peak hours like it can happen on VPS. It gives you way more privacy and security. You get more performance from hardware that on paper looks the same, especially if we compare NVMe storage on a VPS to completely unlimited and unshared NVMe storage on a dedicated server. There can be integrated graphics which enables transcoding or encoding video at very low price. VPS with graphics is very expensive. You can also use your CPU 24-7 at 100% and nobody can complain. Five things, that's all great, but what about cons? Now you need to worry about hardware failures. If you get VPS, then you don't need to worry about this because it is closely monitored by professionals. If your dedicated server fails, then you need to wait until provider fixes it. There is no live migrations, there is no extra spare drives. Well, there can be spare drives uh, with your dedicated server, but not in this price range. You will likely deal with way older hardware at the same price. SATA SSD instead of NVMe, Xeon V2 instead of AMD EPIC. At very low price like 10 bucks, VPS will give you way better performance, but if you increase your budget to like 20, $30, then performance can be equal and if you spend $50 or more, then dedicated server will be a better value in most cases. Today I want to show you 10 to 30 per month dedicated servers offers that are actually good. First of all, let's take a look at one provider deal page. Here we can find many, many offers, but this is the best one. $16.71 for 4 core CPU, 8 GB of RAM and 2 1 TB hard drives. Additionally, it has hardware RAID card and DDoS protection. Should I buy it? Ok, 100 likes under this video and I will buy it. Test it extensively and compare to VPS at the same price. Ok, next provider. No6, no6. I don't know how to pronounce it, but their offers are crazy. They don't include only one, but five IP addresses. Nowadays, you need to spend around $2 for one extra IP address. So these four extra IP addresses are worth $8. Not only that, but also you will get one gigabit unmetered connection. Overall, they offer very ancient hardware, but if you need many IP addresses and one or two terabyte hard drive at low price, then why not? Next up, OVH Eco line of servers. Their KS15 at $20 per month gives you Xeon V2 CPU, 16 gigs of RAM and three two terabyte hard drives, but connection speed is only 100 megabits per second. Many people report that they indeed have 100 megabits connection, but only on IPv4 and on IPv6 they have full gigabit. Because OVH is kinda lazy with implementing limits on IPv6 as not many people use that. It's nothing new, it's been like that for many many years. If you currently have server from them, it's worth checking out if your IPv6 is faster than IPv4. You can find even better deals in our Low & Talk community. Here we can find offers from OVH and other providers like for example Pebblehost. $19 per month and Xeon V2 SSD and 1 gigabit unmetered, but $31 one is even better value. Same SSD, but no 4 times more RAM and way faster i7 processor. However, if you want to spend a little bit more, it's worth checking out Hetzner. All of their dedicated servers include 1 gigabit unmetered connection and their AX line is the best compute deal you can get, especially AX31. I personally have two of them because their value is just unbeatable, but I also have two 100 terabyte servers, each for around 100 euros. You can find such good deals on their server auction. 
even now. 64 terabyte for 71 euro and 100 terabyte for 101 euro. Amazing deals. And if you install ZFS, like I showed you in this video, you will be blown away with performance. That's all for today. Have a nice day.